the fifth season of our favorite show, The Last Kingdom, had a jaw-dropping effect on all its fans. This show has low-key been among the greatest historical sagas around for years. Following Uhtred of Bevenberg as he fights to reclaim his home, joins the service of a Christian king, finds love, fights his former best friend, and attempts to complete his destiny. But like all great things, this show also came to an end. Let's discuss a little about the historical accuracy of the last season. First up, is it historically accurate? The Last Kingdom has always made a concerted attempt to be factually accurate. While the novels from which the program is inspired are fiction, the Saxon stories, the author, Bernard Cornwell, is well-versed in history. We think it's safe to say that this isn't Cornwell's first rodeo. Our author has successfully produced many other fictional fiction shows that have hooked many throughout the world, such as the iconic Sharp series, The Grail Quest, and let's not forget the epic Warlord Chronicles. Let's give him his due credit for all these works of art, but these masterpieces are a discussion for another time. Our focus is on the Last Kingdom for the time. Despite the show having many figures and events that actually existed, it's slightly different from real history. A lot has been embellished or fabricated. Then again, this is a theater, not a documentary. Many storylines and personalities have also been deleted. So let's start by looking at which elements of Season 5 of The Last Kingdom are historically inaccurate. Next, Uhtred of Bebenberg. To get into this, you'd have to become a bit of a history buff like us. But don't worry, it's not as dull as it sounds. I mean, how can Vikings be boring? Let's start by talking about Uhtred. Uhtred of Bebenberg, as represented in The Last Kingdom, did not exist. And if he did, he would have been roughly 60 years old by this time in the novels. Uhtred the Bold, the elderman of Northumbria till his murder in 1016, was the inspiration for the protagonist. The actual Uhtred came from a long line of kings who dominated the region from Bamberg Castle on the Northumbrian coastline. Even we were shocked when we came across this. To boggle your mind even more, the castle that was depicted in the show is used to represent the actual Bebenberg from history. Most events in the show are based on historical events, such as the Scottish raid on Bebenberg in the last season. Legitimate comparisons, unfortunately, end here. Without a doubt, the Uhtred of the Last Kingdom is not the same as the Uhtred the Bold. The two were born roughly 100 years apart. Uhtred, son of Uhtred, is the name of Uhtred the Bold's father, not Uhtred, son of Waltheop. All this history may be too much to take in, but stay with us, we're just getting to the juicier details. Now, Ethelflaed's death. In certain aspects, Ethelflaed's tale in Season 5 is based on historical events, since the real-life Ethelflaed died of an unidentified disease. She develops cancer in the show, but there's no historical proof for this, but it's also not impossible. We all know that many diseases were unidentified before. After all, so many plagues could have been avoided had scientists found cures earlier. Like any mother's desire to see her child set, Ethelflaed was as keen for her offspring, Eifwen, to replace her in the Kingdom of Mercia, as she was in reality, and she succeeded, ruling for around 6 to 18 months. On the show, though, the power struggle produced by Ethelflaed's demise is greatly dramatized, with Ethelhelm scheming to place his grandchild on the throne, Edward killing the Elderman, as well as Elfwyn escaping Mercia. In reality, Ethelflaed died while defending her town from Vikings, but her death did not leave such a shocking aftermath as we saw in the show. But this exaggeration is not a surprise, as the producers did need something to keep us all hooked. Whatever they did worked, because we couldn't seem to tear our eyes away from the screen. Did Brita's invasion of Jorvik really happen? Brita was played by an iconic Emily Cox. With her feisty Saxon nature, she definitely managed to become one of our favorites throughout. Her relationship with Uhtred changes throughout the series from childhood friends to lovers to enemies. Who would have thought that the same Brita, who played with Uhtred as a child, would swear revenge on his kids in the fifth season? Talk about a twist, especially after the season 4 finale, when Uhtred took mercy on her and gave her a chance to escape. Hatred just seems to run too deep for some people. Although this invasion was a pretty big event in the show, this did not actually take place. The English armies only attacked Jorvik's boundaries during the time period in Season 5, The Last Kingdom, but Brita invading did not take place at all. This was an addition by the writers to make it seem like England did become one. Now, some inspiration for the show. How does someone even get inspired to write about all this history? They would have to be very passionate about it. And do you know how our author, Cornwell, became so passionate about it? You might need to hold on to your seats for this. Cornwall happens to be descended from Uhtred the Bold. Who expected this? We sure didn't. No wonder the author is so well informed about all the history. He revealed in an interview that once he found out about his origins, he became more interested in his history and went on a quest to reconnect to his ancestors. If we found out we were descended from someone who left such a huge impact in history, it's safe to say that we would want to write a book series about it too. Although the show did not stick as close to history as we expected it to, the writers did a great job of keeping their audience hooked right up to the last episode. With one plot twist after the other, everyone went on a roller coaster with the cast. Kudos to the writers. Now, in other news, expectations from Vikings Valhalla. If you were as hung up on the Vikings as we were,
Tour, then this is the show for you. We just didn't get enough of the Norse warriors from the show. This show takes place 100 years after the finale of Vikings and centers around Harold Sigerson, the Nordic royal, Leif Erikson, the mythical traveler, and his sister, Freyd's Eric's daughter, the famed adventurer. In the Vikings, we saw the great Norse kingdom at its peak, but in Valhalla, we cannot expect the same triumph from them. The show starts off by revealing the troubling times faced by the warriors. Valhalla does not have the same characters as the original show, and a new cast is also introduced, but this show has a separate fan base for itself. True lovers of the Vikings, like us, love anything that we can get our hands on. There's just a certain thrill to watching these warriors fight for glory and honor. Next, Snowpiercer ending with Season 4. If you were a fan of the show Snowpiercer as much as we were, then you must be disappointed with the cancellation of the show. This post-apocalyptic, dystopian suspense show is based on the 2013 film by Bong Joon-ho. Snowpiercer is a train that contains the last few survivors of humanity who are stuck on a train that keeps circling the world. The Earth has been frozen over due to an experiment gone wrong, and now humanity is at a risk of becoming extinct. The show became pretty popular due to its original story, and it even got renewed for a fourth season before the third season concluded. But sadly, it received mixed reviews, and the actors went on to pursue other endeavors. With the attention it received, we're sure that another show like this will gain an even larger audience. And now, Stranger Things Season 4 Part 2 teaser. Were you sitting on the edge of your seat waiting for this Season 2? If we had to choose a show that we became addicted to, this would be it. Who knew that this would be one of the most awaited series when it first aired? But the writers did take the horror aspect up a few notches with this last season. We don't think anyone was expecting this at all. The recent teaser for Part 2 came out and will set the tone for the season's conclusion. This highly anticipated show is sure to end the season with a bang. Who knows, maybe be part of an even larger universe? Who knows? With its popularity growing in every season and the characters getting a larger fan base by the minute, I think the final showdown with Vecna in the season finale will leave us holding our breaths till the very last second. Maybe season 5 might convince the writers to drag the show on a little longer? We can only cross our fingers for this miracle. One thing's for sure, we won't be disappointed. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think there are any other historical facts about the fifth season of Last Kingdom that we missed? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.